Holy fucking shit, we have boots on the ground. I'm going to enjoy the ride, enjoy the ride. What's up guys, Crazy HD here. Today I'm bringing you guys a World War II beta review. So as you saw, I'm a little bit excited about Boots on the Ground. Um, I've been waiting for Boots on the Ground for the last three years. I hated Advanced Warfare. Black Ops 3 was alright. And I hated Infinite Warfare. I don't even know. I, th I think I'm like level 16 in Infinite Warfare. I, I barely played it. Um, and as you guys know, I bought it, or I never bought it, I got it for free off of Nate, so, um, I was very optimistic when I heard that World War II was gonna have some boots on the ground, well, was gonna be boots on the ground, not some boots on the ground, um, so, I am still very optimistic, uh, I actually have the game fully pre-ordered with the, um, definitive edition or whatever, the $100 version, so I have the season pass and everything, and, I'm really excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, but let's get into the review. So we're gonna start with some of the negatives about the World War II situation and everything. Um, the first thing I noticed when I played, and I, I played it on the PS4, and it was worse on the PS4 um, than it was on the Xbox. Like I played it week one on PS4, uh, my friend's dorm. And uh, the incendiary shells are absolute bullshit. Um, they are terrible. Probably the worst thing in the game. I think, I'm glad that they have the four shell limit now. I think that they shouldn't be like level one of your division kind of thing. Like I think you should have to like work on that because then everybody's gonna go to that division, get that and use that and that's how they're gonna level up very quickly. Um, Another negative thing, and this is just a minor thing, the Thompson is not in the beta. I, I'm going to assume it's in the game. Um, they'd be stupid not to put it in the game. That was like such a great gun in World War, or World War I'm sorry. Um, so I, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be in the game. It's probably going to be like really good, so that's probably why they didn't put it in the beta. Um, but, yeah. So, and the last negative thing I have is Aachen. I think that's how you say the map name. Aachen is... It, it's not a good map. I don't really like it. Um, the other maps are decent. Um, Arden's Forest is probably my second least favorite. My favorite's Gibraltar so far. And then I forget Point Du Hoc, I think, is, is like I'm in, um, indifferent about. So, Aachen is a camper's paradise. You sit in the back of the map with an STG and you'll do fine. So... You kind of have to adapt your play style to that. But other than that, the maps are okay. Um, and then one thing that I'm kind of indifferent about, I don't know if I like it or not, um, before we get into the positives, is the uh, different style of lobbies where you, you kind of have all your people sitting in the area and you have to go to other things. I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, it's not terrible. It's not my favorite thing, but I'll get used to it. Um, like I said, that's not major thing it was just a minor nitpick um so let's get into some of the positives so first of all they bring back so many of the guns from world at war the ppsh is probably my favorite gun in the beta um the m1 garand is back um i'm trying to think of other guns that were in world war world at war uh the springfield's back and the m1911 are like the four that i really noticed um, I put up four fingers as if you guys were going to see it, but, um, they bring back guns that are familiar, but they also added some new guns that I at least don't remember from World War, like the, uh, M1941. That was a, that's a pretty decent gun. That's your starting weapon if you do infantry, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that. But yeah, uh, it would be nice if they bring back the, the BAR. I'm not sure. I don't think I've seen it. I haven't really used the armored division, but, um, I haven't seen it. That would be nice if they bring that back. Um, another good thing is the guns seem balanced. Um, it doesn't seem like there's too many guns so far that are extremely overpowered, that are extremely bullshit, um, besides the incendiary shells, but um, the snipers are balanced, the, the SMGs are balanced, you could use the grease gun, you could use the PPSH, you could use the Type 100. Um, the assault rifles kind of suck, but 
Um, that's just my opinion. The STG is good, but the M1941 kind of sucks. The M1 Garand, if you ha unless you have a trigger finger, kind of sucks. Uh, I have a trigger finger, so I'm fine with that. But another thing I really like is the sniper. Is good. I've only gotten gameplay with the Commonwealth so far. I haven't recorded any, um, and I haven't earned the Springfield yet. I've picked it up. Um, and the Springfield, well, it's the M1903 in the um, beta. But the Springfield is amazing. Um, the Commonwealth is really good. The Caravan, I think it is called. Um, that's not good. I don't like that. But that's okay. There's always that one bad sniper, and I, that, that'll be the Caravan probably. Um, good pistols. The P08 is amazing. I haven't used the 1911 yet, but the P08 it's like about a three four shot kill at close range and it's just i don't know it's better than most pistols that i've remembered from call of duty um i put it up there with like the b23r um and uh the i can't think of the one from i think it's the p226 from ghosts whatever the big one that I, you always saw me using it whenever i would run an ar and ghosts um Another thing that I actually like, and uh, some people aren't not are not gonna like this. There's a bit of a learning curve. You have to learn that you can't run around the same way with a LMG as you can with a submachine gun, or um, you can't go and run around with a sniper as much. You kind of have to post up a little bit. You can still run around with them, but you got to be a little bit more cautious. It's not like previous Call of Duties where you could run around with a sniper and use it as pretty much an assault rifle. Um, and the last thing is teamwork based. And I love that. Um, it seems like you have to work together as a team, even in team deathmatch, to make organized pushes kind of, and if you don't do that, you're gonna lose. And I kind, I really like that. Um, hopefully the teamwork based thing kind of sticks. And hopefully people start using their their mics and talking in game chat and then you meet new friends you, you start playing with some new people um so those are my opinions on the world war ii beta comment down below what you think of it i'm very very excited for this game so thank you guys so much for watching comment like subscribe follow me on twitter be down in the description below as always guys it's a crazy hd thanks for watching enjoy the ride see you guys later